Hello, my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk and today I'm gonna to show you how to save money in the studio by making your own black gesso. Um, if that's something you're interested in, please stay with me after a short introduction. We can have fun and get messy in the studio, nice. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time And don't forget to click subscribe Visit Clive5R.co.uk Yes, as I said during the introduction, we're going to be making some black gesso. As you can see, there's a gesso canvas behind me, which should be should be out on YouTube now as a lesson. It's, um, it's how, um, how to prep cameras prior to a Bob Ross technique. Um, and you can see my studio is black and it's all painted with homemade black gesso. Yes, don't tell anybody. You don't need to spend loads of money on black gesso because it's very, very expensive. And um, all it is is black paint with calcium carbonate, talcum powder and micro in it. Yes. Now, you may have seen a previous um, uh, uh, episode where I showed you how to make clear gesso. Well, I'm going to be using the same types of materials. The only thing is I'm going to make black gesso rather than clear gesso. Now, there are some things that you're going to need in the studio. You're going to need a, a mixing container. I got one of these little scientific pot things, but you can use anything you want. You can use one of these little plastic cups or you can use um, anything, really, any, any any plastic container. You're going to need some deionized water. Yes. If you're going to need deionized water or bottled water, then I suggest that you boil a kettle and fill the, uh, uh, the container up, let it cool off and keep that, store that in a plastic bottle and then you've always got some handy. Why? Because water does tend to go a little bit sour. But once all the impurities are taken out of it, it will stay um, bottled for quite a long time. But I do suggest that you keep it in, in, in a cover. I got, I got my, my, my uh, containers got labels on, so it tends, tends to stop the light getting on it. UV light does play a little bit of havoc with water. So, but we're not going there. We're not talking about water today. I've got some calcium carbonate mixed with talc and micra. Um, this is a, a blend that I put together myself. Um, it can be used as a chalk paint, not just as a gesso, but gesso is basically a chalk paint. And you can add any color to this formula that I'm showing you to make some paint for shabby chic furniture, etc. Now, I do uh, sell this on my um, website. Um, they come in kilo bags. And as I said, it's a blend that I put together. But you can use any anything that you feel you need. Um, but I do suggest that you try to mix talc and calcium carbonate together rather than uh, just use talc on its own. Uh, it's a little bit too fine. and You need a little bit more tooth. But this is basically chalk paint in a nutshell. Um, we're going to need some sort of a whisk if you haven't got a whisk or you're going to need some sort of a, a, a blender. Um, you can wet, use one of those uh, things for soups in the kitchen or you can just buy a little paint mixer that you can get on eBay or you can just use a whisk or you can just use a <laughs> paintbrush if I can pick it up. Um, but the important thing is we need to mix the powder with the water first in order to get it completely saturated by that. Otherwise it's gonna form lumps and that's not what we want. So we got a weighing scales as you can see and um, I'm putting my glass on top and I'm gonna zero my weighing scales. Now that's taken the glass on top of the scales and it's come up with zero. Now, that's important. Looking at my recipe, I'm gonna need um, 20 grams of water approximately and I'm going to need um, 30 grams of either PVA or some sort of binder uh, this happens to be resin binder this happens to be a binder but you can use PVA glue what I say 30 grams we need to make that 50 oop it's a little bit more than I wanted because I've gone over about 10 grams I'm just going to add a drop of water to that don't worry too much about that. So it's basically um, 30 grams of PVA, 20 grams of water, and we need to get that mixed together. Now I've got a, a drill, I've got a man's tool, and I'm gonna mix that together for about, about 30 seconds. Oh, 
or so. <laughs> I got a little pot down by the side of me which I'm going to wash that paddle out in so because I don't want it to dry on me. Um, as I said you can use a, a blender or you can use a paintbrush or you can use a whisk. Whatever whatever is convenient and whatever is to hand. Now to that I'm going to put 50 grams. So let's zero my... Let's zero that. I'm going to put 50 grams of calcium carbonate, talcum powder and micro mix into that. So let's put 25 grams in first. And it's better to do a little bit at a time, especially with this particular blend. And let's mix that now together. Put that one side because we don't need to wash that out immediately because I've got to put another 25 grams in now. And the rain is coming down really heavy in the studio today. Well, not in you, <laughs> it's coming on the roof, otherwise, I'd be wet. <laughs> so, let's get this mixed. And wash our paddle out in some water. That's important. Okay, so now this is the key ingredient. Now this could be absolutely any colour that you want. This is household emulsion paint. This happens to be a, a matte black paint. Um, by a, a, well, I'll just as well show you. This happens to be a matte black paint. Okay, now it's... Um, it's latex based, which is not a basically a problem for this type of mix and this type of paint. Um, so don't worry about that. It's quite safe to use. It's archival. There is no problem with this. I've never had any problem with it. And um, it's just that um, they say you can't use household paint for um, paintings, but yes, you can. It's just that it's, it doesn't stand up as long. It's not. It, it, it won't last as long. If you're going to do a painting with just household emulsion, it's not going to last you as long because it's designed to fade. And um, but as far as this is concerned, it's just a primer basically. And you can use it, as I said, in shabby chic furniture. So okay. Now this could be any colour. It could be yellow. It could be blue. It could be green. It could be red. It could be any colour you want. It could be cream. It could even be white. There we go. And um, so you're going to need. Um, 150 grams now of this black paint. That's all you need. 150 grams of black paint. There was a big nasty lump just went in there then. And so we can see if we can disperse that in one second. Okay, just put that in there. Let's just get that a little bit mixed up now. Let's see what happens. Keep this going for about 60 seconds or a minute, <laughs> whichever comes first. And this is important. Now, it's not going to look as black as you think. Now, if you want a real black black paint, then put some um, ink in it. Make sure it's a water-based ink. Uh, you can use a calligraphy ink or something like that. Make sure it's water-based. And you can blacken this as black as you want. But personally, I find that it dries as black, uh, black enough for me. Um, the studio is nice and black, and as you said, you can see the canvas behind me. Um, OK. 
playlist. That's broken up all them lumps and bumps. As you can see behind me, um, it's black enough and you'd be surprised how that will dry because acrylic always dries darker. So always bear that in mind, always bear that in mind. We need to wash our, our scoop out. And so the price of this particular tin of paint was about, um, was about 14 pounds. But that's not far off the price of one litre of black gesso. So that was 14 pounds. And there's one manufacturer that sells um, black gesso, which is about 12 to 13 pounds a litre. It's four litres of black emulsion there. So it does work out because by the time you thin that down with some water and, and some binder or PVA glue or, or school glue and then you add the um, calcium carbonate and talcum powder mix to it, you can make a vast amount of black paint. And um, it, it's quite surprising how much uh, black gesso you can actually make from that. So again, you can use um, white, if you wanted to use white paint, you can use white paint. So um, there you go. So you can make a white gesso and a black gesso using the same formula. So that, there we are. I don't have to make another video. <laughs> Save myself some time. But um, yes, so again, all I need to do in this case now is get a container and I just need to decant that into a container. And if you want to make your paint a little bit thinner, add a little bit more water. If you want to make your paint a little bit thicker, add a little bit more PVA glue. And um, it, it all depends on the, the viscosity or thickness of the paint that you want. And, um, and that's quite a nice black gesso. And as you can see, the table is gessoed with that. Now, what I want to show you is this. There you go. That has been gessoed with one coat of homemade gesso on some cardboard. And again, you could feel, or you should be able to hear, the tooth on that. And if I can get my white pencil, um, you can see that the tooth is picking up on that. I use a white on that. Whereas with the pencil, this side, here we are, you can see the difference. It's picking up. You should be able to hear the sound. If I put that by my mic, this is on at the ungessoed side, and this is on the gessoed side. So you can hear the tooth. And that's what we mean by tooth. It's actually the, the, the roughness of the surface where the paint likes to attach itself to. Yes. Okay, so all that remains me to say, thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. I hope I've saved you some money. All these products are available on my website. Uh, because I've got a craft fair stall now once a month, um, I sell my products as well. So, um, but if you want to purchase some, please feel free to do that. Um, also, I got some blending white there, which is it, it, which is pretty good for uh, the Bob Ross styles or any type of blending that you want to do. But I'm not here to, to sell you anything today. Um, all I want to do is show you a way to save money. And if I can, if I've done that, then I've done my job. So all I mean to say is have a good day, good week, a good month, a good year, because uh, I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching it. Please give this a try. If there's any problems, leave a comment in the comment box below and I will get back to you and I will help you as much as I can. All of the recipe details are going to be in the descriptions. Just press the show more button and um, you should be able to save yourself a vast sum of money. So thank you very much for taking up my invitation to join me in the studio today and I will see you next time on another tutorial or a free YouTube lesson where you can pick along with me. Bye-bye. So grab your brush, have a great time And don't forget to click subscribe Visit Clive5R.co.uk